Welcome back to Let's Play Kid. I don't know what I should do. You know, uh, it's like freaking you know, 20 past 12 midnight, essentially. I woke up like uh, maybe two hours ago. Well, maybe a little under two hours ago. You know, it's Sunday and all. I tend to sleep through Sundays. It seems I'm like a habit of being, you know. Didn't help that. Past two days, I've just been randomly watching Bob Ross videos on YouTube. It's like, yes, yeah, it's, it's relaxing, yet, like, at the same time, interesting. And it makes me sleepy. But it also inspired me to, you know, just like, you know what, I'm gonna draw. I don't paint, and he does, but I'm gonna draw instead. It's inspired me. So I was like, okay, let's draw Hanako. It's been forever since I've drawn anything, and I did say in a previous video at some point that I was like, you know, maybe I should, you know, draw some characters from this. And I've already worked on one. And I even, like, tried doing a parody kind of video. Didn't really go anywhere because I was using my phone because I haven't got a proper camera that I can, like, place at a convenient angle where you can see me going about it. And it's like, and that's like, let's put in some, uh, let's put in the, uh, hair here, just nice happy bits of hair. I don't even know. I was just, like, trying to parody it. But I couldn't do it because I couldn't freaking hold the camera at the same time because it was my phone's crappy camera. Which is about as good as my freaking eyesight without my glasses, essentially. And, uh, I haven't finished the drawing yet. Well, I sort of-ish. It just needs finishing touches, all the detail, the color, and all that. But I'm surprised. It's been so long since I've drawn yet. I was able to go go about it so easily. Like, the last time I tried drawing anything was Swalot from Pokemon, and I tried doing digital kind of art, and I found that kind of a bit tricky-ish. Because, I don't know, I'm not used to that. I'm used to just having a pencil, paper in front of me. Okay, let's draw. That feels more natural to me. So, still, a long ways to get used to digital art, but anyways, I'll show that when I complete it, so eventually, probably, I don't know, I would say probably by the next part, but you never know, whatever. Ah, anyways, Micheline sideways while she's in a pushes her desk closer to mine. There really is no escape now, unless I were to jump through the window. Jumping out the window isn't the best option, sadly. What's wrong, He-Chan? Oh, He-Chan, have you been thinking about what you said yesterday? You said that you would think about joining the student council, didn't you? No, what I'm actually thinking about... Well, it's not what I was thinking about, but... You know what's bugging me? My freaking skin on my hands is so goddamn dry. It's drier than my sense of humor, man. It really bugs me when that happens. It's okay, He Chan. We were talking about it, uh, blah, 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 about it after you left. And it would be rude to expect you to already have an answer for us that this early, right? Right. <laughs> I'm so happy you two are able to have a laugh at my expense. And even more pleased to know that you both know how crazy the two of you can be. Hmm. You know, when I was drawing Hanako. Uh, I think it was, yeah, I was text drawing it early in the morning, because I went to sleep in the morning today, well, yesterday technically now, if you count the next day as being, you know, past midnight, I suppose, whatever, and I was thinking, you know, I could draw a Hanako, because, like, it's, I don't know, it just feels like, I don't know, it felt like, well, if you think about any other characters in Cowboy Shoujo, it's like, the urge to draw just feels less and less. It's like, I can't be oh, just like, let's draw Amy, nah. Let's draw Rin, nah. Shizune, nah. Misha, nah. Uh, let's draw Hanako. It's just like, you forgot Lily. Yeah, that was in the list of nah. I know. It's mostly because she's one of my favorite characters in the novel, so it's like, okay, draw that. And it makes it easier because only one eye is visible most of the time. So you don't have to, like, you know do this essentially where it's gotta like be right kind of length between the eyes. I find that's a pain in the ass too. Also an odd thing I ended up doing was trying to draw Hanako's hand in the image as well because I tend to draw like a portrait kind of image kind of thing 
I would do the like, you know, add some variety to it by having her hand appear. And I kind of wanted to like have a chess piece, but I only came up with that idea once I'd already drawn the hands. So I was like, no, 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 screw that. We'll just give the impression that she's either reaching out for something, such as a chess piece, essentially. Because I was like, I want to draw a hand, because I haven't drawn, well, I haven't drawn in ages, but I haven't drawn a hand in even longer than that, probably. So I was like, yeah, let's draw a hand there. But anyways, uh, I'm rambling, but isn't that always the case? Now that that's over, she's in a snaps back into- Oh, I remember why I brought that up again. <laughs> it's like, because looking at them now, I'm just like, you know what, I could probably draw Shizune on Misha, maybe. It all depends on my motivation. I found with having the Bob Ross videos playing in the background, it kind of relaxed me instead of like, I feel like without it, I just kind of be like, uh, this is going to be tedious now, but with him just like, and it's just, just drawing some happy bushes here, and I just like, uh, it's soothing, it relaxes me and inspires me at the same time. I must continue this drawing. Well, without it, because my freaking internet connection was crap, so it kept freaking buffering, it was like, God damn it, I'm losing my motivation! I don't know. Now that's over, she then snaps back into serious mode and smacks today's assignment with the back of her hand in an overly dramatic, unimportant way. It also, like, remind me that I'm good at drawing portraits, like, type of portraits of characters and all that. That's kind of my go-to thing, because, like, draw a full body, I kind of find that difficult, because then you've got to draw the face, the head, everything has to be smaller. So it's like, I don't know, I find it more of a pain in the ass. And, like, I've got ideas in my head, it's like, you know what, like, have, like, a huge image with all the characters from Kata Washiochu in various random little scenarios going around in just one image, but I was like, I'm, that's not my type of drawing style, I'm not very good at that, so I just draw a type of portrait kind of image. It's a bit of a shame, really, because I want to be able to draw all that as well. The odd thing is, like, one of the videos I watched of Bob Ross was like, he mentioned that, like, someone had, like, told him that he should stick to uh, drawing trees and bushes and stuff like that, because that's where his passion is, instead of drawing portraits. And oddly enough, portraits is my go-to thing. But I'm also good at drawing, kind of, backgrounds to an extent, but I haven't drawn backgrounds in ages. I always like to, kind of, like, add shadows to everything. But, anyways, rambling again, let's, uh, stick on to the point when I actually look at the stuff. It's mostly just reading. In fact, there are only two problems. I almost want to say something about her, uh, how her rush to get started seems a bit much, considering the small amount of work. In fact, Shizune probably knows how little it is, and simply doesn't care. Yet, it seems like the workload doesn't matter to her as much as the fact that there is work. The actual amount is unimportant. She approaches everything with the same level of ambition. It's Haruku! I'll, um, reading. I'll let my eyes wander around the room and catch Hanako trying her hand at solving the problems. It looks like she's working alone. You know, I'd like only, like, when I was drawing Hanako, I only had, like, one image of her. Just kind of look at it to kind of give me an idea of how her hair should look. And I've drawn it a bit different. I mean, they, her hair comes down like that, but it's a bit different detailed. I don't know. I haven't even drawn in the scar a bit yet. Actually, looking at his... Uh, uh, which hand would that be? It's left, 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 left. Let's, let's have a look at my drawing here. You won't be able to see it, but I will. I'm just trying to like make a comparison, because this hand has no scarring. And I'm not sure if that's the hand I used. Yeah, it is, actually. So I don't need to add any detail on the scar for that. It's just like, Hardcore wouldn't be abused by that, would she? It's like, she doesn't like any attention to her scars, but... I have to draw in a bit of the scars, you know? But only on the face, it seems. Because that's... I haven't drawn a full-body image of a character in... I don't even know how long, and I'm... As I said, I'm more of a portrait type of person. But anyways, uh, put that back. I can't remember seeing her working with other people before. Thinking about how shy she is, it's understandable. Hey, that girl over there. 
Huh? Who he chan? Her, Hanako, over there. Does she always work alone? I think so, he chan. Do you feel sorry for her because she's alone? I was just thinking that maybe she could work with us or something. Mm, no, I don't think that would be a good idea, he chan. Why not? She chan wouldn't get along with her. Why? He just shuffles around the question, letting out a laugh that sounds very strange. It's nervous, but still has that lilting up and down quality present that every in everything she does says. Uh, just because he chan. By now, Shizune has noticed our conversation, and it makes me realize again how Misha has been signing everything she has been saying this whole time. What? Chi-chan, the friend of my enemy, is my enemy? That sounds so harsh. I'm not going to say that. You said it anyway. I know, Hee-chan. It's fine if you over here. You know, I don't really know much about Chizune because I haven't played for a route, but any time we ever see her in any our character route, she comes across as kind of, well, a bitch, to be honest. I wonder if this is Misha's way of keeping things fair, since without her, I wouldn't be able to understand the things Chizune is saying, and vice versa. Like a bird. Is that also why she signs all the time? So there's never conversations as any will be left out of. Anyways, we should start on the problems now, he chan We finish with time to spare. Oh no, I decide to ask if there are any alternate ills to the cafeteria. As frankly, the food so far has been so far. This sends Shizune and Misha arguing among themselves about their favorite restaurants. All of them are downtown, so I don't think we have time to go all the way there. And what about the bill? You know, one thing that bugs me a lot is uh, the difference between English, you know, regular old English and the Americanized version of English. The spelling, to be precise. See this favorite right here? In regular old English, you've got a U in there as well. And it bugs me whenever I see, like, the difference. Because, like, honestly, I find myself looking at the Americanized version and going, you know what, it makes sense. That's... We add in a silent letter that doesn't really make any sense. But because I'm used to that, it makes sense to me. <laughs> so whenever I see it not there, I'm just like, ah, ah, ah. Especially in games, like... You know, if a game gets uh, an English release, it's originally Japanese or something, or whatever, then they get a European release, they'll always just keep the American translation or whatever the same. So they don't like, you know what? It's gonna be released in the UK as well, right? So should we, you know, we're gonna have words like, uh, favorite, but without the U, we're gonna like, you know, give over the Americanized version. It's gonna bug some people like me, isn't it? It's like, ah! No wonder why I find freaking, you know, spelling really pain in the ass, because there's Americanization of it. It's like, the American version would have, like, Z's more than an S. So, it's just like, words would, like, use a Z instead of an S in the Americanized version of some words, while the regular old English version would just have the S. And that's what annoys me as well, because YouTube is, you know, primarily an American site. Whenever I, like, write a description or anything, and I use regular old English, and use the S instead of a Z, it's like, oh, incorrect! It's like, if I write realize with an S, it's just like, that's incorrect! It's correct over here, man! Just not in the US, because the US has a Z. And honestly, it makes sense, because if you say realize, it does sound like a Z. But it's originally an S over here, and it's all that. It's really, it just bugs me. Uh, this, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I find that kind of amusing. Arguing among themselves, and I was just like, well, that was a once, that, well, that, would that even count as an argument, really? I was just kind of rambling, just like, ah, ramble, ah, rah, rah, rah. They have favorite restaurants, all of them are downtown, so I don't think we have time to go all the way there. And what about the bill? Are they arguing just for the fun of it? Maybe, they seem so distracted by it that they don't even notice the start of the actual lunch break. I look over my shoulder towards the back of the classroom. She seems to be studying her notes from the previous class. It's an odd sight, everything else in the class is... Everyone else in the class is busying themselves with a lunch break. You know what? No. 
I was just thinking about my hairstyle, just like, just thought back, I remember, like, you know in The Sims? I was like, thinking about this earlier today when I, before I went to sleep, like, in The Sims you have a lot of hairstyles, but there's never, ever been a hairstyle in The Sims that looks anything resembling my own hair. It seems to fit everyone's hair but mine. My hair is kind of messy and it like, uh, I was like thinking of that, but then I was like, no, my my fringe, well, I'm not even sure if I've really got fringe anymore. I used to, but my hair kind of goes like this, kind of like goes, and then it's like, instead of just being all straightened and all, it's just like, messy, 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 mess, mess, mess. Man, you should see how my hair looks like when I just woke up as well, you know, bad hair taken to the extreme. It's just like, yeah, just mess the hair. It's just like, I just don't like the look of my hair when it's like completely straight. Like when it just like goes straight down and just like, no, mess it up a bit more, mess it up. But anyways, uh, what, is, what are we doing again? It's an outside, everyone else in class is busy themselves with a lunch break. Socializing, gossiping, and rearranging desks. The ones with actual box lunches mixed in and chatting. Chattering like everyone else. Only in trip by short bouts of eating. You know, that reminds me, the whole, you know, Japanese course thing that I've been doing, and like, one of them words I learned is bed in uh, Japanese, it's essentially not really all that different to how it's in English, it's, called, it's pronounced bedo, bedo, or something like that. And you know, lunch boxes, you know those lunch boxes they got in Japan, are called a bento, so what if it was shaped like a bed? Would that be a bedo bento? That'd be weird. Did I read all that? I can't. Uh, it doesn't matter. But when I, when, when I watch Hanako, it feels that I'm the only one who can see her. I'm as if she was invisible, sort of hiding in plain sight. Well, I said what she's doing. Is she being bullied? Is she isolating herself from the rest of the class on her own accord? I see her look over her shoulder towards the classroom's rear door. Come to think of it, she hasn't turned the page since I've started watching her. I guess she's waiting for someone. What to do? Well... Oh yeah, I have to wait for Shizune and Misha to come to a decision, because we are going to Shizune's right after all. Misha and Shizune are still arguing about their choice for lunch place. Incomprehensible for a pair of high school students who have to take a taxi, at least to make it to downtown and back in time. Haven't you finished already? Oh, sorry, Hee-chan, where are you waiting for us? You don't have any plans? Plans? For lunch? Well, I don't, so I thought I could hang with you guys. We should smile victoriously at my lack of plans and excitedly translate my response to Shizune. If you don't have anything specific planned out, do you want to eat lunch with me and chi chan Oh, we're going to go ta uh, go to town for lunch, though. Don't worry, Ichan, it's not that far. Uh, you know, we've got Google Translate and things like that, but imagine if they added sign language into that. I mean, how would they even go about that? And you know, with sign language, like, you use both hands as various different kind of gestures you make with your hands and your fingers. And I just think, I'd be freaking crap at that, because my left hand's missing a finger, one of my fingers is permanently bent forward a bit, so how the hell am I going to use that for sign language, essentially, if I ever were to learn it? You, just, you can't really do it like, with one hand, or maybe you can, I don't know. Because my left hand would be screwed trying to do all that. Sure, I'll come with you. And with that, we leave the classroom. Just around the corner of the hallway, something hits me in the chest with the force of a runaway train! Ouch. No, actually, I've done this before. And now the music's playing, so it probably won't even sound right. You know what? Screw it. But no. Nah, I can't remember how the chord progression goes, it's been ages. I pretty much had the same thing happen the last time I tried that, didn't I? I think I did that at some point with this scene, but anyway, open my eyes, I see a pair of saucer like green eyes looking up at me. They belong to the perpetrator, a short girl who bumped into me and has now fallen down onto the hallway floor. She wears a beer uniform and a very worried frown. The former strikes me as a rather strange thing to have on during lunch break. 
What's wrecking that though is that she doesn't have legs. Well, she does, but they are not flesh and bone. Her pale and very much flesh and bone thighs end in shins and feet made of some black metallic or plastic like material. It looked disturbingly artificial and unnatural. It almost makes me forget that my chest was hurting. Can you imagine being kicked by one of those? That would hurt like a bitch. A girl winces a little, rubs her nose, and jumps up. Oh man, hey, hey, are you alright? Sorry about that, really. It's been forever since I voice acted you, so I can't even remember what voice I gave you. I was looking where I was going, and he just came out of nowhere. Sorry, sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, looking at it more and more makes me just like, you know what? If I were to draw Emmy, I'd be like, ah oh, man. I could draw her, just fair enough, easy enough, but the hair color. What the hell color would I use for that? I haven't really got that many coloring pencils. Just like, oh man, you gotta use a, like, how to, what, that, I have no idea. She's looking really apologetic in the hurt puppy way of looking apologetic. I quickly forget about being angry or anything, since hurt puppy is on my weak spots. So okay, yeah, don't worry about it. I say that, but there's a stinging pain growing in my chest, and I know that this is about the biggest possible danger for my condition. Don't overexert yourself, don't forget your medicine, and most of all, don't get hit in the chest. You know, that'd be one reason why you shouldn't play soccer then, isn't it? I tried to rub my solar plexus to chase the pain away, holding my breath in an attempt to hear my heartbeats. You know what? This is completely uh, got nothing to do with this, and probably can't be heard. But occasionally, I can hear like the. Uh, I think it's uh, maybe a washing line outside in the garden. But when in the night, because of the wind, I imagine it always sounds like a freaking fishing line. It's like, <coughs> like really in. But anyway, it seems normal. Hey, should I get a nurse? The worried. Should I get a nurse? The worried, high-pitched voice of the girl snapped me out of it. I stared at her for a few seconds, dumbfounded, until I realized that it pro uh, that I probably looked worse than I really was. Doubled over myself and looking all tense. Damn, I'm overly worried about my heart. Well, you have a reason for that. Uh, no need. Fine. Imagine the face of a response. I pull myself upright, feeling my sore ribs one last time, and take a deep breath. She just knocked the wind out of me, in big time, but it's nothing more than that. You, you sure you're okay? I hit you pretty hard. It's okay. I said I was fine, and nothing's broken. No harm done. That's good. I was. I feel a hand on my shoulder at the same time. The girl's eyes widen. Deep. deep. I didn't get to read that, man! Interrupted by a very horrified... I don't have time to look behind me because Shizune has already shoved me aside and stomping over to the girl, signing furiously at her. You know what, can you imagine if uh, books were like that? You know, regular books? It's just like you're reading and then partway through reading it, the page just suddenly goes, <laughs> goes to the next page and it's like, eep! It's like, what the fuck? I don't have time to look behind me because she's in it has already shoved me aside and stomping over the girl, signing furiously at her. Miss Siburizaki, I saw that! Running in the holes is strictly forbidden! Misha translated right on Shizune's tail, but her voice is girlishly playful. What full of the divine fury Shizune's arm movements would seem to call for. Uh, sorry, I was just going to get some stuff, but I was uh, kind of in a hurry. You've been told this a thousand times before. Your reckless behavior endangers all students and even worse. It's explicitly against school regulations. The girl blushes and starts to fidget nervously like a little child caught misbehaving. It's so cute I find myself smiling. I know that I am. Um, I was just... Make sure that this will not happen again. Although I'm sure uh, telling you this is true now. And only causes me thriller headache when you choose to ignore the regulations. Got that, Emmy. A small girl sticks her tongue out in response. Ah! I gotta go! Teacher will have my head. I promised to help the friend out, but I was running instead. Sorry, but I've got to change and everything. 
before Miss Yotazuni or I can say anything, she's already bolted from where she was a second ago, almost halfway towards the cellar. Suzuni looks like she's about to go nuclear on the spot, so I smile at her in a vain attempt to calm her down. Are you okay, Hee-chan? That Ibarazaki girl is always like that, causing trouble to others. You know, I'm pretty certain Suzuni wouldn't call me Hee-chan. Never mind, never mind! Yeah, anyway, um, bad. Okay, yeah, I just got the wind knocked out of me. That's great, Hee-chan! I wouldn't call that great, but I let it slide this one time. So let's hurry, Hee-chan, to have lunch! We promise it'll be great! I'll take your word for it. Uh, what kind of place is it? A restaurant or something? It's a tea house, he chan A tea house? That sounds kind of fancy. Why are you looking at your wallet, he chan It's okay if you don't have any money. We'll cover for you. Uh, that's really nice of you. Thanks. It's okay, he chan After all, we're friends, right, he chan it's not like we're going to, uh, like, you know, bring up the student council thing again, right, Hee-chan? Right, yeah, yay! It's been, you know, if you weren't really paying attention, <laughs> like, if you were looking away from the video I was talking about, you probably would have thought that's something she actually would say, isn't it? It's only been three days, are we really friends that quickly? Yeah, but hearing that makes me happy. Uh, it's only for today, though, and only if you step right now. Do you want to go, Hee-chan? I start wondering if this is some kind of trap. Is this Misha's suggestion or Shizune's? This is important. I'm still a little apprehensive about the possible motives of a girl whose favorite pastime is the game of world domination. No, I'm just being paranoid, actually. Very hard. Again, my reading is terrible. It's like I just read the whole thing, no pausing in between. Well, I suppose if I did read in the, you know, traditional way and be like, no, I'm just being paranoid. Actually, they have grown on me already. I do have to go to town sometime. So why not now, with them? <laughs> It'd just be like, if I read at that pace, these parts would be much longer. Well, actually, they wouldn't really. Well, if you add in my rambling, they wouldn't be. <laughs> but my rambling covers for that, doesn't it? It's like, with the amount I ramble, I might as well, if like I'd read the whole thing without rambling, again off subject and read it, you know, like that essentially, it would be the same length, I imagine. I've never actually been to a tea house before. Not have I, I don't think anyway. I've been inside of a Japanese tea house, but it's more of a decoration kind of thing, you know, rather than, you know, an actual tea house. Well, it is a tea house, but it's not a legit tea house, if that makes any sense. It's just like part of this kind of oriental kind of garden thing. It has like various Asian trees from Asia and all that jazz. And just has a nice relaxing feel to it. Even has a bridge. It's very nice. But anyways, all my expectations are from what I've seen about them on TV. But those are period dramas and these are, and these are modern times. It might just be a regular cafe and they're called a tea house. By the way, I'm curious about that, too, so there's another reason for me to join them. Sure. That's great, Hee-chan! That's great, that's great! Yay! Misha hops up and down briefly to show how happy she is, which causes a few heads to turn towards us. She's only up to her polite tiny clap that lasts for all of two seconds before she goes back to looking stoic as ever. Or usual, same thing. But wouldn't it kill you to be a little happier, Shizune? Oh, it wasn't. I wasn't aware that uh, He Chan was a king! <laughs> Shizune pushes her glass up as Misha and delivers her message totally without sarcasm. I guess it would sting more if she could say it with the intent Shizune meant behind it. So for once, I'm happy to have Misha as a barrier between us. You know, I can imagine him saying the same thing to me. It's like, would it kill you to smile a bit more? It's like, hey man, I don't. It's like, it's. I don't know. It's like, what do you expect from me, man? Just like, smile all the time like an idiot? I tend to have a very stoic kind of look, I suppose, when I'm around people. I'm not telling you to jump for joy just because I'm having lunch with you. I'm not that arrogant. She seems to accept this, and we head for town, which is in a leading the way. 